What's up guys, it is I, once again, Yusuf al Senet, and today guys, I want to talk about and review Henry Hobson's 2015 release post-apocalyptic slash horror drama, Maggie, directed by Mr. Hobson himself and written by John Scott III. Maggie tells the heartbreaking, tragic, yet inspiring tale of Marguerite Vogel, also known as Maggie, child of Wade and Sarah Vogel, who named their child their daughter after the daisy flowers which her mother Sarah loved so much. Marguerite Vogel, also known as Maggie, has been bitten and is slowly, gradually, yet surely and sadly going to turn into a cannibalistic monster, a creature known as zombies. To transform into a zombie right before the eyes of your parents and those closest to you is the most heartbreaking tale of anyone who becomes infected after getting bitten by a zombie, which is sadly the fate of Marguerite Vogel, also known as Maggie, and watching Maggie's story unfold as she becomes infected by this zombie and how it's slowly transforming her into a zombie, it's so tragic and just so heartbreaking to watch, yet this story is one of both inspiration and one that gives us an in-depth look at the emotional and psychological journey of the characters who become infected and how this affects both both them and those closest to them, family members, friends, etc. And this is no different for Marguerite Vogel. This burden weighs heavily on her father, who is played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, very well I might add. Wade Vogel is very heartbroken and saddened by the fact that his daughter was bitten and is slowly transforming into a zombie, and he has but three choices. One is to send her to a quarantine camp where she is to remain until she gradually and eventually dies, which is basically a death sentence for anyone who becomes infected and is a far worse fate than dying at the hands of your family or those closest to you who have but one choice to kill you, the second of which is to inject her with this medicine or some kind of fluid which basically puts her in a huge amount of pain until she eventually dies, and the third one is probably Probably the hardest and most heart-wrenching one of all three and that's for the parent or friend or significant other to the party who is infected to kill their beloved one and it's very sad guys because Marguerite is in so much pain knowing that she slowly and surely will die no matter what they do and saying goodbye to those she loves before eventually they have to put her lights out and set her free which is a very heartbreaking story once again but this story guys really did touch my heart because for one Abigail Breslin plays her character Marguerite Vogel so well she is so beautiful and so powerful in her performance I love her so much ever since I first saw her in M. Night Shyamalan Signs and since then she has become one of those actresses I want to see more of and Arnold Schwarzenegger once again is so good in his role as Wade Vogel he is so reserved so quiet and so subtle and and very nuanced in his performance as this man who's watching his own daughter wither away and transform into a zombie and has no choice but to do something about it whether it's to kill her or send her to the quarantine camp which he does not want whatsoever it's very hard for him to stomach because he does not want to let go of his little Daisy his beloved Maggie because she is the world to him and after she goes his life at this point is done because even though he has one son and one daughter besides Maggie, his beloved little girl and firstborn. She is still very much his heart and soul, his princess, his daisy, because after he lost Sarah, he made her a promise to take care of their little princess, their daisy, no matter what, and to ensure nothing happens to her. He failed to keep his promise to his beloved wife and her mother. What he can do though is spend whatever time she has left with her, with Maggie, and to ensure that she is safe, secured, and happy with what time she has left, and to let her know that no matter what happens, whether she goes to heaven,
heaven or some other place after death. He wants her to know that he loves her and will always be there for her. She is his little princess, his daisy, and that she is the world to him. This story, guys, really did shatter my heart because if you guys and girls don't know, I always dreamt of becoming a father, even though I am in no position to become a father at this point in my life, though I would love to eventually because to have a daughter would be the greatest blessing ever bestowed upon me by the grace of God and to have a daughter who would be my little princess, my daisy, just as Maggie is to Wade, her beloved father, it would be the happiest and most joyful moment of my entire life. Oftentimes in movies and TV shows, we see characters who get bitten and become infected and gradually turn into zombies. We don't get the full idea of their journey, their emotional and psychological journey of what it's like to become infected and what it's like to go through the stages of infection before eventually you transform. Not just the fact that they're turning into zombies and what their beloved ones have to do in case they do transform into zombies. It's also about the humanity and the journey itself that comes with that. For Maggie and those who are in fact infected, they still love each other and still want to spend what time they have left with each other. The best example of which is when Maggie spends time with this boy who is apparently her boyfriend, a young man named Trent. She spends what time she has left with him in one scene which is so beautiful and so heartwarming. This young man, Trent, clearly loves Maggie, and these two would have been a cute couple had the apocalypse not happened, go on many dates before eventually they get married and have kids of their own, and Maggie would have become a great, strong mother like her mother Sarah was. Her mother loved her so much, and she would have loved her own daughter or son just as much as her mother did, and just as much as her father, Wade Vogel does, and Maggie Maggie's story, guys, is so beautiful, so heartwarming, while sad and heartbreaking, is also very inspiring because this movie did not get enough good praise and sadly not much attention because this movie was made at a very low budget and the fact that this film had limited releases across the states, it's very heartbreaking, but what can you do when it comes to indie dramas like Henry Hobson's Maggie, but this movie, guys, I do recommend you guys and gals watch it because this story is so beautiful, so heartbreaking, yet so relatable because this story is not so much about the apocalypse or the horror aspect of it which involves zombies and the transformation of people who get bitten and will slowly turn into zombies. It's about the humanity of the characters we witness on screen, their family, their friends and significant others. It's about all that and so much more. Watching Maggie reminds yours truly of many other movies and video games which has a father, daughter, or son relationship, which yours truly loves so much. And some examples includes Bradley Armstrong, also known as Brad, and the relationship he has with his little girl, Buddy, from the 2014 survival horror action role-playing game, Lisa the Painful. Joel and Ellie from the 2013 survival horror action adventure game, The Last of Us, and the upcoming Last of Us 2, which yours truly is most looking forward to. Lee Ever Everett and Clementine from Telltale Games The Walking Dead Season 1, which is a very good game I do recommend you guys and gals play, as well as Lisa the Painful and The Last of Us. And of course, we have John Hillcourt's 2009 post-apocalyptic horror drama The Road, which stars Viggo Mortensen and Cody Smith-McPhee as the man and the boy, respectively. These stories touch my heart so much, especially as a man who wants to be a father someday, and hopefully yours truly will be a father and this movie is definitely one you guys and gals should see at some point because Maggie by Henry Hobson is not one to miss for the performances of both Abigail Breslin and Arnold Schwarzenegger as well as Jolie Richardson who plays her character Caroline Vogel the stepmother of Maggie and wife to Wade Vogel she is so good in her role Maggie is such a beautiful heartwarming and very inspiring story about love family, connection with those you love, and spending what time you have left in this world before eventually you are to die, which is inevitable for those who become infected and will turn into zombies. But know that no matter what happens, your family, your friends, and those you love will always be there for you. Thank you guys and gals for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, 
comment, subscribe if you wish, and do check out my gaming channel where I do Let's Play series, gaming content, all that kind of good stuff. Until next time, peace out, take care, adios amigos, au revoir, and sayonara. <laughs>